for going live. The Hangout on Air is now live. We are live. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? This is Roy Person, uh, one of the webinar uh, hosts tonight with uh, Mr. Ron McLaughlin, one of our other hosts tonight. And what we're doing tonight is we're hosting a uh, live uh, mobile app boot camp to teach you guys how to build a mobile app from scratch using our platform. Um, I did have a video that was scheduled for you guys to watch tonight, but at this time uh, we're having some technical difficulties trying to get the videos up. So what I'm going to do is I'm tonight I'm just going to probably just go right into training you guys on our mobile app platform. If you do have any questions or whatever, please um, pl place them in the chat box, um, uh, which I have pulled up for you um, here inside the room. We're going to go right into training here. I'm going to try to pull up uh, so you guys can follow me here on this platform. Um, okay. All right. At this time, you should be seeing my email, correct? That's correct, Roy. Okay, great, 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 great. All right, we're going to go into our um, website. The name of the business that, um, he, that we have is called All American Mobile Apps um, dot net. Here, our website uh, here at All American Mobile Apps, we um, build apps for businesses all over the world, and we decided to what we'll start doing is trying to uh, broaden our uh, horizons by teaching others how to build uh, mobile apps so maybe you'll take interest in um, working for us uh, or actually owning your own business out there building apps okay you guys you, right now you should be seeing our web page with uh, mobile web apps we basically we can have a mobile app built within 48 hours actually we can build them in 24 hours um, um, with all the specs and everything that you need in there but what we're gonna do tonight is we're going to be building ba uh, what we call a basic app, um, something to where you're just not going to have all the bells and the whistles. Uh, we're going to create a dummy company tonight um, that we can have loaded up, published, and on the internet. Um, let me tell you, let's show, scroll down on our website again. We do customized apps. We create mobile sites, stream live videos. We um, we set it up where your app can become viral. Um, our power features keep customers engaged with with our offers. Uh, we have what's called touch tap phone, uh, which you see uh, here laid out in the segment of the training, which um, is set up to where you it's like a one tap you into, into your app that you. You can tap your app, and your app will actually call out to the business or whoever that the app was built for. We, you can put custom photos in here, YouTube links, mapping to your business or whatever you want to map to map out to. You can set it up where it does coupons, uh, submit reviews with your app, uh, custom menus for your restaurant, and customizable contact forms. Also, we have it hooked up to where you can do Facebook postings. You can tweet, uh, put tweets in there where you're connected to your Twitter account. Uh, we can do SMS texting. Uh, basically, you know, we can broadcast the texting out through SMS. Um, then we can share your app with email. We also have, which is not on here, which uh, which it is, I guess it is on his SMS texting. Basically, what that is is it's a it's a uh, extra uh, feature that we have if you wanted to have an app for your customer or for yourself that you can set up a back room to where you can actually text broadcast to all your customers or your friends. So. Going back up, I'm going to go ahead and log in now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit here. And of course, my password is protected, so you don't, uh, you guys, if you do come on board with us, we, you will receive your site. It looks just like this here. You have your own um, username and your own password. So we're going to look in, and, and basically, how you would come in is the same way I did 
through the allamericanmobileapps.net website and you'll just log in to with your password. Now, when you come in, first thing you'll see is is you'll see this room here and basically it'll say it won't look like ours here but it'll look like um, it'll look to where you'll see um, different uh, um, apps that are created for different businesses um, if, if you guys had a site of course you don't want to see the apps that you guys are actually built yourself now what we're gonna do we're gonna create a new app okay First thing one you're gonna see, you're gonna see the country in which your app was built for. Now, if you're building in South Africa or any other continent here, you'll put that continent in which where your app is actually built. Um, we're gonna start off where we'll call it, uh, uh, let's say James Donuts. If I'm spelling donuts wrong, I think I am. Let's see, donuts. Mr. McLaughlin, that's about right. It looks right to me, Roy. All right, we're gonna. Her number is gonna be uh, eight five zero four 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 uh, twenty four forty five. Okay. Our email is gonna be James Donuts at Gmail. James Donuts at Gmail dot com. Okay, and now we're gonna stroll down and the name of her business again. When you when you create an app to save yourself a little time, you you, you don't have to do a lot of um, continuous typing. You can actually just do a lot of paste and copying, which the name of the business is to be the same. James Donuts, just copy it and paste it there. And then of course in lowercase letters, James Donuts. Okay. Now her URL is always going to be a one tap Moby. One tap Moby is sort of like the new uh, WW URL for web apps. Okay, um, you'll see that a lot Moby uh, when you're looking at other people's apps. But a lot of times you won't see this because what people do they they what they do they mask it when they create their domains so you never never see this. And then they lock their masking, so you'll see only their website. Now, when you come down here and you're building an app, you can do several things. You can give the customer that you're building an app for no access to the site, which that means you control it, um, so that that person doesn't be in the back office, you know, tearing down the app, messing up the app if they don't know what they're doing. Um, and it gives you a little more control to be able to charge the customer a little more. To, for things that they may not know how to do. Now you can give the customer full access here. You want to if you look here and you read your notes. Your notes will kind of tell you what to do. The notes on here says this gives your client the ability to have full access to edit the web app and use the marketing platform they will log in by visiting one tap Moby, okay. And if you're going to give them marketing platform only, you're free. This here it says this gives the client the ability to have full access to the marketing platform and limited access to edit the web app. If you your selection, you select any, excuse me, if you selections any permission below, they they will log in and visit the one tap Moby, okay. Now. For me, we don't give customers access. I don't want the customer in the back office. I want to control it a little bit to where I can upcharge and get some more money out of that client later down the road. So what I do, I just go ahead and add it on in. Okay. Now you add it in, you'll see a page like this. You'll go ahead and hit continue. Okay. Now the app is created. Ta-da! It's done. This is the app. Now you go in and put all the bells and whistles in it. But for now, we're just going to click here. I'm going to click right here. And if you guys can see that, it's going to bring up. This is, of course, it'll look like a phone in there. Let me go back where you see what it really looks like. Hold on, excuse me. Uh, let me come out of that page here. Let's go edit.
this is what it's going to look like on the phone. This is a basic app, Jane's Donuts, Jane, join our list, save home screen, share web app. Now, if you was building an app for a customer and you was not charging them no extra money just to build a platform for them and allow them to do the rest for themselves, this is what you'll give the customer. Right now, just what you're seeing right now, you just done, you just uh, this is two hundred dollars worth of work. Believe it or not, two hundred dollars worth of work. Um, you charge them two hundred dollars for this particular app, and you'll charge them two hundred dollars every year for this app. You did nothing, okay? Now, if you want to get into more money with the customer, and you want to, you know, sweeten the pot a little bit so you can get that six hundred or, or, or even twelve hundred dollars a year on this particular app. You go ahead and go on in there, general. Okay. Uh, now, the first button here, um, right now, let me know if I'm going too fast, anyone out there. Uh, if I'm going too fast, uh, please let me know. Ms. McLaughlin, does the. Uh, does You're doing fine, Roy. You're doing fine. I, I'm, I'm really getting a, a lot out of this. Uh, okay. Uh, especially some things that I didn't know. It seems okay. like you got a lot to put into it, though, with what I'm seeing. Okay. With the great, colors great. and footers and the, the logs and the, the different titles and description that I, I guess you're going, going to go over those now? Right, right. We're going to go over those now. So now what we're going to do now is inside your actual customer's app, um, we're going to go through the, through, the, through the stuff that's on the top of the app after we build the app. Um, but now you see your preview, which I showed you earlier. This is your general setting. Then you have a content and your extras. Right now we're going to go through the general settings. So now you go through the first page here. It'll be pretty much what you saw in the preview. You saw join our list, save the home screen, share the web app. So we'll close that up, and we'll come back to that button later. Okay. Um, home button links. Now, Home button links is this right here changes the URL um, to people directed when clicking the home button. You know, you can kind of set this up to where when they click this button, it can go where you want them to go. Me, us, when we're building apps, we leave this feature open because we pretty much want, don't want the customer to come out of the app. I mean, unless they're going to the um, you know, going to the home page later down the road. Um, but now, you, you, if you're building an app, you have the um, the features. You know, if you read here, it says this feature primarily is used when building a directory web app that links to other web apps. So, basically, what this does, and you, and I'll show you how to do that later down inside the app. It's going, it's, it's a redirector the way you want this particular home page to redirect and um, uh, later down on the other screen I'll show you some directories that we built inside this hour training so we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna go to mobile app titles and descriptions okay now this is your SEO stuff you know if you wanna get you know found on the internet you know Jane she serves donuts so you're gonna hit donuts you don't have the capital you just donuts when you're doing your SEOs, comma, um, coffee, it's affiliated with donuts. Um, let's see what else. Um, donuts, coffee. Um, well, you got your teas and your hot chocolates and your yeah, hot chocolates and all of those kinds of drinks uh, that's associated with donuts. Okay. And, uh, some people might even put in a police officer's name up there. Hey, police. Hey. <laughs> All right, great. All right, hot chocolate, mocha. I guess that's with hot chocolate. I don't know if that's spelled right. Chocolate. C H O. Anyway, close enough for training. Okay, going on in there because this is not a real business anyway. So, all right, we're going to go on up. That's your SEOs. But when doing your SEOs, and, and I'm going to click back here on a serious note, when you're doing your SEOs, try to find out as many keywords 
because what these keywords are going to do, this is going to help you, um, your customers' business to be found in your Google um, network, which relies on keywords for different businesses. Okay, go back down here. Uh, logos. Okay, now this is something new here. Um, I, what, I, what, I, what I will tell you what's happening well, with the company, uh, we're going, the company is going to be moving into what they call a beta 2. Uh, this is beta 1. They're going to move into beta 2. And beta 2 is a lot harder. It, it, it has a lot of uh, bells and whistles. It allows you to make the app look any kind of way you want it to look. It's coming with about 50 different uh platforms um, that you can set up within the app to give it different looks in the app itself uh, but for now uh, training purposes we're gonna train on beta 1 now um, for Jane Donuts we're gonna add an image so what we do here we need some type of image for the donut so let's see what we have here uh, we'll upload let's see what I have in here I don't know if I have any donuts but let's see let me go to Downloads. I might be able to find some food. How about this pizza right there? Well, we, you know, we. Ain't, maybe I just go to the internet. Let me just go to the internet and the internet. Let's do it the right way. You guys can still see me. Yes, I can. I can still. I'm still following you. Know you. Okay. Donuts. Donut pits. And. I do. We do this a lot. You can go to Google or any. Google's the best. Go to Google and uh, hit images here, and you tend to find different pictures of different donuts. Um, see Jane's donuts. Uh, let's give her a look. Different kind of look here. Uh, Say donut business. All right, we're gonna go with this. Okay. I don't like that, but all right. All right, just go ahead and um, save image to your favorites. Save that there. Go back to your screen. Um, upload your pick. Go to your downloads. Find those donuts. Come in there. And there you have it. Save that down there. And you have Jane's Donuts. Now, if you wanted to do something with the slider program, which we're, this is a new program, but I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, implement it in, in the program. I'll just start putting a bunch of donut pictures in there. So you can see how the slider program works. Now normally what I would we would do is you would create some type of graphics or whatever for Jane, but for training purposes, um, I'm going to just show you how we can just load up the different pictures as far as you know the slider is concerned. Now go in there, upload another picture. Save it. Picture number two. Add another picture. Picture number three. All right, those are in there. All right, now we can put text or whatever at the bottom of it or whatever. But for now we're gonna. Go is, is there is there a limit on the on the number of pictures you can put in there? No, there's not a limit. Okay. There's no limit. And then, okay, you can go back here and you can put a time that you want those to slide. You can be one minute. The, the, the quickest is two seconds. So I'll save that. Did everyone see that? 
um, the time up here where it's where my mouse is it says image slider setting you can put as many pictures as you want in here for that slider to work there so now we're gonna go back and preview it and you should see them rotating Does everybody see them rotating? Yes. Great, 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 great. All right, we're going to move on. Let's go back to settings here. And we also have a logo creator, which before I forget about it. For you folks that are not, you know, computer savvy, it, this is a this program is absolutely free. Um, it's in our network. All you got to do is set yourself up an account with it. Um, a little login account you go in here and you can create um, these different type of logos that the company offers you know like for instance um, let's go back I hit James Donuts that was food to see automotive food and beverage okay food and beverage let's see what we have uh, food and beverage here Right, we could have went with one of these little logos here, but um, and they're nice, and they're nice. Uh, but for the most, um, actually, we try to create our own logo, something that will fit with the company's look. A lot of times, what you're going to do, I'm come out of here. You can find out if that company has a website, and a lot of times, if that company has a website, it's easier to go to their website. And in uh, a lot of times they have a logo there. You just paste and copy their logo to your uh, browser and go do the same thing I did. Just upload the logo right on into the person's um, mobile app. Okay, so we're gonna close this here now that we're in there. Okay, now we're gonna go to mobile icons. Now, icons are a little tricky, but it's not really. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go and find this donut. We're going to upload that donut there. And now that icon is there. But now what we want to do to make it look more like an icon, we're going to go to our icon creator. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with it. We're going to go in. We're going to browse. We're going to go to our downloads. We'll find those donuts. We're going to open it up. And the icon creator is going to kind of create it. You're going to see it, make the icon. And as you see, it's got the different, see, that makes the icons for you. So you click on here, which is the big one here. Oh, download, excuse me. Go ahead and download that. And it's going to download. Then you just come out of that page there. Okay, that should have. Okay, well, it's going to download wherever you're going to tell it to download. Then you got to save it. So hold on a second. Let me see if you guys can still. Um, can you can you guys see me? You know, still see me creating this icon? Yeah, yeah. We're with you. Okay, good. All right. Uh, All right, we're gonna call it save as. Let's see here. We'll make sure we put that um, somewhere where we can find it. Now I'll put it right back in the downloads. Let's see, and we're gonna call it <coughs> James. Okay, go ahead and save that as a JPEG. Come out of that screen there, upload it, and you should be able to find it under Jane. Let's see, J J J. There we go, James Donuts. There we go. Just upload that thing there, and now we have an icon. We're gonna close this thing here. We're gonna go back up. And we're gonna go back out of the out, back out of the um, the actual app uh, page by hitting the back button. 
so you can see the icon. You see here where it says Jane, and you see the icon that's made up just like an icon. When you click on it, it'll say Jane's Donuts on your phone. And it's a pretty nice little donut icon. So now we go back into editing. All right. Go back to general. So we've, we've done icons, we've done logos, we're going to go to themes. Now themes is what is pretty easy, it's two or something for now. This is beta one, so this is not that hard with themes. We have two themes. We have the list, okay, and we have the icons. The list is what you see now. This is the list where you have the bars going across. But let me show you what the icons look like. Me personally, I like the list. Should change here shortly. There you go. There's your icons. The icons are okay, and you can kind of change these icons if you know if you don't really know what you're doing. You can go in and change them to do look whatever, however you want them to look. But what happens is it leaves a lot of open space inside your app. So me personally, again, I like the um, the list. But when you're building it, you're the one building it. You can build it how you want to build it. Um, okay, we're going to put it back to the list. Now, uh, here, what these are for is like when your app is your pages and you're clicking on your pages, they can slide, they can fade, they can go up, they can go back, and pretty much we, you know, it, the software comes with it with sliding, which is kind of, you know, um, right in your face. Under, basically, it's basic. Uh, here, it, this call bar is disabled, but we're going to enable it so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to save that, and when the preview, you'll see the call bar pop up. Okay, see the share? The, you know, basically, that's a Facebook share link, and you'll see me do something else with that in a few minutes. Okay, we'll leave that call bar up for now. Colors. You want to give this app some colors. All right. Now, we can give her app some colors and different colors, but what I'm going to show you first before I show you colors, I'm going to show you how to make this app look different um, outside the colors. You're going to go here, and we're going to go to, there we are, the body. Okay. Now, inside the body, it's a little trick here inside the actual program. You can go in here and some um, um, different colors and different looks that's built in. Let me show you right quick. Here you see clouds, more clouds, carbon fiber look, gray look, fuzzy gray, blue water, diamond plate and carbon ribbon but let me show you something else say you wanted that app to look like the donuts you just click here load that up and voila we got a whole page of donuts behind it okay instead of giving it color now we can go back up and play with the colors. So you can upload these things and make the different changes of the colors. Um, and a lot of I'm not going to get into a lot of the other stuff because it's a little more technical. And as you get to building the app, if you have questions later down the road, you feel free to email us, and we'll you know email you back or one of our correspondents to get with you. All right. Now you go back up here. Go ahead and close all this stuff. Now colors are real easy. To the colors are basic drag and paste, you know. So we got she's got a donut shop already. She's already got the donut colors here. So we're gonna drag that brown there, that tan there, tan it out, tan out the whole page there, and maybe give it a little black. Let's let's see what happens here. Yeah, I don't know about that tan. Let's leave this one tan. Let's black out the. Yeah, no, that's kind of, uh, let me just try brown and see what that looks like. That's not too bad. Let's see. Maybe if it was the other way. Let 
All right, let's save it. Let's see what it looks like. Preview. Voila. And as you see, the donuts is rotating within the donuts, giving it kind of a blend in look, you know, of a different type of app. It's really impressive. It's really impressive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, hide this here, that page right there. Uh, we're going to go into the footer. Now, as you guys looked here and you saw that this site said cr created by all American mobile apps. Now, if you build on a site for somebody and you know you say, hey, you know, powered by, when you, uh, people pay a lot of money for this. And this is called branding. You can actually charge a customer to brand this app. Um, you know, basically, you know, app powered or created by that particular company. So we're going to say it was powered by um, James Donuts. Okay, no, 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 no. And then we're gonna go find we're gonna go find a a real donut shop here. And we're gonna do. We found a dummy site here. Somebody who else who has a donut shop, and we put their URL there. Now I'm gonna save this. Now this is very important because now if you go to this site here, you can charge like again branding this thing. You can charge customers a lot of money to do this, and then you've linked it. You didn't just brand it. You linked it. So hear that link there, and voila, it pops up to the donut place. You know, or the donut business. Okay. So, so basically, what you're saying is that the the app will send when people click on that link, it will send them to the main website. It send them to the main website of the actual donut shop, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we need to go back. So we just hit your regular backspace here okay and we're back in okay so now we can go back to settings we're gonna close this up here and now this is right here this is Google Analytic Google Analytic is real easy all you have to do is have a uh, a gmail account and go in and sign up for Google under the Gmail account that's listed for that particular business. Um, basically, you know, it's Google Analytics, so they want you to have a Google account. So even if you have to create an email for that particular company uh, through Google, some type of email there for them, just go to gmail.com and create an email and set up the Google Analytic tracker and this is where you're gonna put the tracker code in and and this this you can actually charge more money for this too because you're gonna say well hey we're, we're gonna put in a tracker system every time you do something it's more money more money and, and, and that's the bottom line every time you have to do something for a client it's more money now, so, you know, give it. It's a give or take situation where you know you got a good client. You want to do a little extra for them for that client. But um, I would, I'll be the first to tell you that the more you do, the more they want. The more you do, the more they want. And people will free you to death. You know, free is not a good word all the time. All right, we're gonna come out of there. And this is right here. This is a reputation management system where you can go in here. You got your Foursquare, your Google Places, your rates, and basically this is basically you set these things up to 
let people be able to rate um, the app or rate the business. Uh, if that business has an app that you built for them, people can go on here and go to Foursquare and rate if it was good service, bad service, and, and these things help you down the road because a lot of millions of people read these statuses. All right. So we're gonna go to we could have hit next, but we're gonna go to contents. Contents is the phone number. Okay, we put in the phone number uh, eight five zero. Four four four. Phone number was, and here we got join our list. Now, this is what you can do with in the join a list. You can give people perks for joining your list. If a person joins your list, you can say you can give them you can give them ten percent, five percent, twenty percent, whatever you want to do, or you can have your app set up to where it asks them their birthday here so you can um, and then what happen is when you put this information in there um, it'll send them a happy birthday on their birthday date or whatever you know we don't use this a lot but these are perks if you want to use those perks about the business basically about the business we're going here again if the company had a website um, we're gonna go in and see. The reason I was strolling down, I was looking for the about button, which would be real easy. But we'll do right here. We say we'll just copy and paste anything. All right, you copy and paste this here. If the most time again, most of the time, if the company has a website, it's a lot easier for you to build because you don't have to look for information. Just go to their website. Uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to paste cop paste this with um, your your keyboard in this uh, googly. Uh, they call this so they call this box a wiggly box. In this wiggly box, you're gonna have to do Control V. Okay. You know, in, in a, and when you're pasting, copying, you, of course, you're going to do to copy something, you hit Control C. When you want to paste it, Control V. All right, now you go ahead and save that. Moving along. All right, uh, email James Donuts at gmail.com. Go ahead and Copy that because you're going to need it again. Okay, URL. Go back up here. Copy the URL. Oh, well. Anyway, um, all right. So you're going to need these things up there again, which you can get them up top. So now you can go here. You're going to add the business. What this is for is an informational page where you're going to add the business in here and it allows you to app add uh, the mapping system inside the actual app. Okay, so now we're going to put James Donuts. Okay, capitalize Donuts. Phone number, which you don't have to go and get that information no more. You just go in. Paste and copy it. Email. Fax if they've got one. Skype if they've got one. URL. Hours of operation, Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, um, 8, 8 to 8. Okay. All right, add 
address, um, 4266 North Okay, I got I got one. Uh Orange Blossom Trail. Okay, Orlando, Florida. Three two Okay, when you check this box here, it's going to give you a map of the location where that business is located. You can hit add, that's done. And the map is mapping system is in there. You get this for so you can have GPS. A lot of times what will happen is this mapping system will work hand in hand with your GPS system. All right, now we're going to go into forms. If you want to create a form for a customer, it's kind of self-explanatory. You can drag these boxes down here where you want them to be in your drag boxes. And you go in that box there, you put the information what you want in that box here. You can put your drag downs, whatever, and you put your submit button in there. And now, if you see here, jamesdonuts at gmail.com, you got to have an email because you got to have somewhere for that information to go. So the form, you give it a name. Um, menu, whatever, save it, okay, it's done. So coupons and promotionals, we have something that's called a scratch off, which if you wanted to put a scratch off in here, you can put a scratch off coupon in there. Um, not really going to get into this right now because this is basic app training, um, and it takes a lot to get into a lot of those things. More, a lot of those things there are really for an advanced class later uh, later down the road if you guys decide to come aboard with us. Um, events, if you want to add the events in there, you can. Again, that's for advanced classes. Photos, if you want to add photos in there, it's kind of self-explanatory. You can add your photos. You can add them in there. Add them. You know, upload them. Your photos. Let's go back here. What just happened? Oh, add new photo. There you go. Add new photo. You upload the photo. It's going to go in there. Grab your photo. Come on out. Photos added. Add it in there. It's going to add down in there as a photo. Now, loyalty program. Again, you can do punch cards and stuff like that, but that's for the advanced training. Um, customize contents. Again, for the advanced training, if you wanted to link a product to, you know, that you're going to have in there, or um, you want to, let's go back here. Let's cancel that so you can see more. You can customize the content. You put content here, it'll give you a new page. Cancel that. Or you can do a click the call type deal. You put the title in there. Uh, you put the number in there, it'll give the click to call. Um, products and services, if you want to do the products and services that a business offers, um, that in the restaurant menu is similar. Um, same thing, if you want to add a menu in there, you put the actual name of the product description, and you put the price, you upload your picture of your products, and you come down here, you got your product that's going to pop up down there. You can put your or talk about the product or what your menu in here and the name of your menu. Uh, we're not going to save. I think I did save it, but okay, moving on. Uh, shopping cart. Basically, how the shopping carts work, and this is for advanced training also. If you want a shopping cart, it's yes, I want a shopping cart cart. Um, and you got to go into your PayPal API. And you gotta put all your information in here to make this thing work. Again, that's for advanced training. Um, and you got your social media links. If you want, if you got a Facebook account, Twitter, Google, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Pit, Pinterest, Yelp, TripAdvisor, Foursquare, Urban Spoon, and any of that. Those things you want to add those in there. And that's kind of self-explanatory. You just add the URL of your um, logins, and it'll pop up at the bottom of your page. Now, your extras or your widgets, 
this is a widget code if you want to have a website or somewhere you're just going to paste and copy and this is what you see it'll basically what it'll be is person join your list and when they join and give you the email information inside one of your websites you can put something out there you can say join this and receive this and a person sign on and that's how you can build your list somewhere else um, here is um let's see here what we were that's your first widget let me try to close some of this stuff okay okay the next widget so another widget here and it's kind of similar but this is what we call the other one was a square widget this one's more of a long widget that's the only difference um QR code the QR code automatically creates when you create this um, web app it creates a QR code automatically so you don't have to go out and create one and also give you the website there also um, let's see website redirect we talked about that a little earlier um, you can redirect this site um, see redirect the phone and tablet to visitors redirect the phone only okay here is the, uh, what we call table tent we will show you this here it's quick it pretty much creates its own table tent you'll see what we're talking about here shortly if it pops up today it's trying to generate trying to generate Now, why that's generating? You do have what well, you okay? There we go. All right, that generates. It gives the QR code. It gives the actual radar services and join our VIP club, and you know all the bells and whistles here. Um, the, this site used to give the picture in here, but since they upgraded and made the slider, it doesn't. So if you do get this and you print it out or paste and copy it you can just put your picture right on in there and it'll be real easy to do um, you can also download this to a PDF which makes it a lot bigger there a bigger printout and look what we see we see James Donuts is already created for you alright so coming out of here now again these order and print tablet contents this is a, a companies who will print this merchandise for us for, for a little or nothing if you choose to want to use them to, for the company now this is where you can make more money more money because the prices whatever these prices are that this company is charged you charge double the price to your client okay and there we have it now we're gonna go we got about mm, six minutes I'm gonna go into this marketing platform how this works is you send new messages basically if you was gonna send messages if you had um, you know people who had joined your list and you wanted to send messages to them you could through your back office here we have a video that you can watch here to teach you how to do this um, then we have what's called a uh, queued messages okay you can create a scheduled message what that does is if you want to create a message that you want to go out next week you know a couple of days from now and you don't feel like you know that you will remember it you can pre pre do the message um, four squares your four square um, customers what have you through your four square system you can read more into that um, message sent you know, to show you if you send any messages it'll be down here the messages that you sent uh, messages received it be down there if you received any messages stats on calendar like calendar if you scheduled any when you scheduled any events to happen and anything that you need to remember <clears throat> you have a calendar for here this will give you if you had anybody that had joined your back office you have emails of Facebook and Twitter and then you have your account it's your account web app settings your web app settings that's back to where we was. Now let's see what the app looks like now. Okay. All right. Basically, the app is a lot more going on than the app. We have a call. 
this is what I meant click the call if you hit that call button on your cell phone it's gonna call that business okay of course you have it here again if you click here it'll do it again here well, most of the time I disable this bar because you really don't need it um, then they join our list the customer wants to join the list they'll come down here and see we're here now what if you see this is can better be red what we we'll do is go in there and change those colors if we have to change those colors yeah but our um well I think that uh, the, the application is pretty uh, extensive uh, what is the general learning curve of trying to put all of this stuff together? Uh, normally, normally, within within a day, you can learn how to do all of this stuff by playing with it. Um, and the only way that you're going to get better and better is to to go in and build a couple of dummy apps because you can always go in and delete this app. You know, um, now when you guys come aboard the system. Um, your apps that you create, um, you won't have a delete system. In your office, when you come in with us, you won't have a delete bar. Okay, but what if you want to do delete that app? You can. Now you will have what's called a duplicator. You will have a duplicator. So say you made a mistake or something in that app, and you wanted to duplicate that particular app, you just hit your duplicate button. And the only thing that you would have to do with this duplication button is uh, the original was called James Donuts. You would just say James Donuts. And then duplicate it. Just for some strange reason, you wanted that first one deleted for whatever be the case. Now we have James Donuts 1, James Donuts 2. Okay. Um, so we'll delete 2 since we just did it. Um, but there won't be a delete bar in, um, in our um, salesman or, 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 or franchise uh, business uh, bar. But now here you see we created this thing here. Now um, we got a couple of seconds here. I'm gonna talk about um, client access. If you wanted to give the client access later down the road, you can here. Go back here. Now if you wanted to uh, add, uh, say you wanted to text that client that app, you can go in here hit text. Put the client's phone number down there. You can send them that app. Or you can send it to whoever you want to send it to, and then um, you can add text services for that customer. Again, whatever the fee says, you charge the customer double. Okay, whatever the fee says, you charge the customer double. Okay, so um, and I mean, and I mean that. Businesses, they have money. That's why they're in businesses. Business, I know that um, it's it's hard out there for businesses, but it's hard out there for you too. So if you're in the business to make money, um, they're in the business to make money. You have a service, and they need it. Okay, let's go back here, and then the web redirectory code. If you wanted to redirect this web app to where you wanted to redirect it, you will have that uh, access to. Is there any questions, any small detailed questions while we're working uh, to show you guys how to build a basic app? I know this was kind of fast. Um, it was kind of, the boot camp was rushed within this hour here. But uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to go to um, our website, All American Mobile Apps, which I'll put it back up here again for you guys, and send us a comment here. Uh, contact us here at allamericanmobileapps.net. You might want to write this down again: allamericanmobileapps.net. And um, just go in here, give us your name, your email, give us some comments, what you thought. If you need to talk to somebody, put your phone number in there, and somebody will be contact you within 24 hours and let you guys 
um, to talk to you about the business or whatever questions that you might have. Again, our number's here. Feel free to give us a call. Um, and I thank everybody for coming out. This was a nice, this was a nice webinar here. Uh, we're gonna try to have these more, uh, at least once, once or twice a month. Um, I thank everybody, Mr. McLaughlin. You want to say a couple words, sir? Yeah. Well, I, I added it in the chat room, uh, so they can pick it up from there. It's located at the top of the public chat. Uh, and whoops, I think I made a mistake there. Let me back it up with a dot com instead of a comma com. And they can get your uh, they can they can see it in the in the chat. Um, and with that, uh, I thought you had quite a bit to offer. Uh, with all American mobile apps, uh, it certainly reveal a lot of, of uh, information and, and it showed the versatility of your program and that those that uh, come on board really have a lot to work with and um, the product that they would be able to put out it would be second to none. I've not seen anything out there that can do so much with a, with a, a mobile app, uh, especially uh, the way it was done. It, it was it was easy to do, but it was also very professional. I thought, uh, but I really say you got a great product there, and uh, if, if one can't see it, they uh, I, I just great product, great product. And now, if any of you out there, we're gonna we're we're actually over three minutes over our time. Any of you out there actually need to be taught how to actually uh, work the app a little slower and one on one on one. Please feel free to give us a call, and we'll set some up where we can actually do a one on one with you um, and talk to you about you know coming aboard our team. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, and. Um, we're going to say a good night to everyone and have a blessed night, and um, we'll see you again in August. All right, all right. Bye.